It is hot as balls in Vancouver today. Um, I've been in a funk lately, but I sat down and played today and this happened. Kinda like it. Hello? Is anybody out there? I know, just when you thought I dropped off the earth, back at it again. I felt like playing around with some warm matte shades on this day, and this was the aftermath. I'm getting all sorts of 90s vibes from this look. I really dig it, and I hope that you dig it too. I started the look with this Suva Beauty matte eyeshadow in the shade Madrid. This is a warm brown with a strong yellow orange undertone, which I enjoy. First I blew out this shade into my crease, and then I dragged it from the crease to the bottom lash line, and I did this in a sideways U shape, if that makes sense. So I dragged it from the crease to the lash line. The more blown out, uh, the better, because we're kind of going for like a grunge look, if you know what I'm saying. I then went into that same eyeshadow using a different brush that had like a little bit more of a tapered tip, because I wanted to create more definition in the crease, and I built Madrid up using that brush. I think the brush I used was a Morphe one, and I know that I've said this in previous videos, but man, do the fluffier black handle brushes by Morphe Shed is... Anybody else with me on this? I decided to resurrect my Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette. I took the shade Succubus and I packed it to the inner and outer corners of my eyes with a pencil brush and I left the center of the eye completely untouched. I then went in with that same fluffy brush that I used a moment ago and I just blended out Succubus a little bit. Now for the center of the eyelid, I am applying a bit of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as a base and I'm blending it out with a definer brush. And then I'm taking this eyeshadow by Suva Beauty in the shade Shanghai Nights and I'm packing it over the Jumbo Eye Pencil using a chubby, dense eyeshadow brush. The Jumbo Eye Pencil will adhere the shade to the eyelid a little bit better and it will make it pop because it's white. So I'm just doing some padding motions from side to side and then I decided that I also wanted to take some of Latinus, Latinus, Latinus from the Kat Von D palette and pack it over top of Shanghai Nights really lightly. It has a bit of a yellow undertone which I thought looked kind of nice. And then I'm taking a clean crease brush and I'm diffusing the edges so that the inner and outer corners blend seamlessly into the center of the eyelid. Now basically what I'm doing is the back and forth game of balancing out the shades. So I'm deepening up the inner and outer corners, I'm packing on a bit more um, eyeshadow to the center of the lid, blending the edges into one another, touching up the crease with Madrid. If you ever see me doing this in my tutorials, it's likely because I'm trying to match the eye that's on camera to the eye that's off camera. With a small crease brush, I'm taking Liberatus, which is a matte white eyeshadow, and I'm running it along my brow bone, just below my brow hairs, and then once I'm done that, I'm obsessively touching up my eyeshadow again. For my eyeliner today, I'm doing a really thin line along my lash line to blend my false lash line into my natural lash line. And the false lashes that I'll be using today are in the style Misha, and they're by Coco Lashes. I really like these. They're kind of like a larger version of my other favorites by Coco Lashes in the style Iris. Now I'm just going to coat my lashes with the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes Mascara, pop on my Misha's, and then I'm going back in and further smoking out my bottom lash line. First I'm doing it with Madrid and then I'm going in with Succubus using a really short tightly packed dense shadow brush. That was a mouthful, that's what she said. Then I am applying a MAC chromographic pencil to my waterline, coating my baby lashes in some mascara and then moving on to my face. My foundation and my nose contour are already done and I'm saving my thoughts on the foundation that I have on for another video which is why I didn't include it here. But I'm going to define my cheeks in the meantime using the Benefit Hula Bronzer with a Real Techniques brush. I'm then packing on a bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder below my contour with a Pro Beauty Blender.
And while that sits for a bit, I'm just gonna apply some blush. I did a combination of Max Melba and NARS Madly. Once I've got that on, I'm dusting away the setting powder with a dual fiber brush. And for the lips today, I'm using a liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ashton because I think it goes perfectly with the eyes. I do wanna note that although Anastasia's liquid lipsticks come in a wonderful shade selection, these are definitely not on the comfortable side. They are at first, but as time goes by, your lips start to feel a little bit tight. I like to think of these liquid lipsticks as a sexy yet ridiculous high pair of heels. You don't wear them for comfort, you wear them for fashion, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you do find that these liquid lipsticks are drying on you, what I do is just take a little bit of lip balm on my fingertip and lightly press it to my lips to sort of restore moisture into them and I'm good to go. That's what I did here. So that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys feel that this look was a lot easier to achieve than it first appeared. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Ciao.